Hey there guys, it's Kim George here from Your Chic Geek and I want to welcome you to a new video. I hope that you guys have been doing well and all of that good stuff. And so in today's video, I decided to kind of do something a little different, still on the lines of design and all of that good stuff, but um, just something I kind of started thinking about that um, I've actually done and that has worked out really well for me and that I love doing, and that is creating seamless patterns in Canva. Yes, that is correct. So if you guys aren't aware, you definitely can um, create your own seamless patterns. And with a seamless pattern, you can basically apply these to, you know, um, if you're doing Amazon KDP or any kind of print on demand, you can apply them to journals. You can apply them to composition notebooks, which are really huge for back to school. You can apply them to planners, tote bags, mugs, socks, pillows, any kind of you know um, print on demand product that you can think of so i just wanted to show you guys really quickly today how to go about creating a seamless pattern and then adding that pattern to a journal cover over in canva so first things first um, i like to get a lot of the different uh, clip arts and things that i use from creative fabrica you guys know creative fabrica is bay for me now you can also use what already is over in canva you can do that as well but i found that um, creative fabrica just has a lot of cute little you know different clip arts and collections and things that you can definitely get and use um, to apply to your designs so that's what i'm going to be doing in this specific tutorial now, as you can see here, this is the specific um, um, bundle or the um, collection of clip arts that I'm going to be applying to the seamless pattern today. And then I'm going to also use some other things within Canva as well to add to this specific design. Um, but this is something that I really like to do. It does take a little bit more time, but I feel like the designs come out to be something that are super unique and that no one else will have. Okay. So um, this is the designs that I'm going to use. I've already uploaded them into Canva. And then, um, so what I'm going to do now is head on over to Canva to get started with the actual tutorial. Okay, so I'm back over in the back end of my Canva account. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and click to create a design, and then I'm gonna do custom size. We're gonna make sure that this is set for pixels. And then I think I'm gonna do maybe a, a 2000 by 2000 for the design because I want it to be something that will stretch and that will look really, really good, whether it's shrunken or even if it's a big design, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click create new design for this specific pattern. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give the design a name and I'm just gonna do seamless pattern. Oops, test, okay? So that's gonna be the name of the design. And then I'm gonna go ahead and increase this out just a little bit. And then we're gonna start uploading some of the different elements from um, the, uh, the clip art that I have downloaded. So I have created a specific folder. So I'm gonna go to the folder, which is called Rainbow Clip Art Seamless Pattern. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start placing some of the different um, items from this collection over on this, um, over on the canvas, okay? So we're just gonna go through here. And like I said, I'm gonna be going off of the cuff with some of these, and this is what I would do. So I like to basically just kind of, you know, put the different designs um, just diff in different areas over in here. So I'll put one like, like put a design right here, right there. And then I'll take this one. And I'm gonna also make sure that these are all the same size. So this is at a 207. So I'll leave that as 207. And I'll make sure this is at a 207 too. Or if it needs to be a little bit bigger, you can do that as well. So I'm gonna do that there. And then what else do I wanna use? So I love the little rainbow. I'm sorry, not rainbow, but the clouds. So I think this is really cute. So I'll put this over here in the corner. Actually, I'll move this one here. And then I'll put this one here, make this a little bit bigger, make that a little bit bigger. And then I'll just start kind of filling it in with more stuff. So you can get as creative as you want to with this, guys. Um, like I said, this is something that I love to do. And I'm just basically kind of, what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of, you know, going, so I'll put one in the corner right here, and then I'll put one right here, and then I'll put one in the corner, oops, right here. Actually, I wanna change the color of that, and I'm gonna do this color, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is find something else. So maybe I'll do um, this heart here, not this color though. Maybe this color. 
okay and then I'll kind of turn that and then maybe I'll put another little rainbow which is here over on this side right here and so you'll notice I'm kind of lining them up and then I'm gonna start doing like you know so I'll do right here I'll line everything up and then I'll line this up and then I'll start putting things in the middle okay so you'll kind of see it come together all right so I'm gonna do this I think this is really cute so I'll bring this down I'll put this here and then let me find another one this is a pretty color cloud so I'll put this one here okay all right okay all right and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start kind of filling in some of the empty space around this pattern so it doesn't have to be perfect you kind of want things to not look so perfect so you can kind of start you know twitching you know, I'm switching things around and kind of you know taking things and turning them to the side and different things like that and so what I'm gonna do now is like I said I'm gonna start filling in some of the other areas so I'll take this design here and kind of start filling it in so I'll put this one here and then I'll take this color and I'll put that one right here so you kind of see what I'm doing here and then I'll take the gold one not the gold one I will take the pink one and shrink it and put this one right here and then I'll put another one right there so we'll do this one right there okay so that's that and then so now I'm gonna go in and find some other things to use so you kind of get the idea and see what I'm doing here so I'll probably put this one in here all right right there and let's see and again it does not have to be perfect it doesn't have to be perfect at all you kind of see so I'll put this here and then I'll kind of start lining them up as best as I can but not making it look too perfect I, I want it to look like a pattern right so I can make this a little bit bigger okay and then I'm gonna start filling in some of the other things into here so this isn't perfect but I'm liking where it's going okay all right so now I'm gonna start looking for some words that I can put onto this pattern so I'll look for like the word love okay so I like this right here in Canva so I will use this but I'll take this and instead of um, using it or leaving it as the same white color I'm going to go here I'm gonna choose this and I'm probably gonna put it in maybe the gold so you see that it turned it to that really pretty gold color so I can take that put that here and then I can take this let's see love and then I can probably put it here but in a different color and I'm going off the cuff here guys so bear with me maybe pink and then we'll put another love right here so you see what I'm doing just kind of again filling everything in okay so then I'll change this color from the pink to the blue color right here so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna use this color picker and there's that okay all right so what else can we put in here to make this a more full pattern um maybe I could put some little hearts in here I think I'll do some really small hearts and then that'll be, that'll complete the pattern okay so now I'm gonna go back over to my uh, folder and I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna look at these hearts and I'm gonna put some more hearts in here to kind of fill this in a little bit more so I'm gonna take this heart I'm gonna make it really small and then I'll put that right there and then I will kind of turn it take this heart make it small put that there kind of turn it and then take this heart put this here kind of turn it so this is not perfect <laughs> I'm just kind of having fun with this and I kind of like the way that this looks and then if you want to you can definitely go in and you can make things bigger you can make things smaller you know kind of whatever it is that you want to do and we have a pattern okay pretty much a, a seamless pattern here for the look for the most part okay and so then you can kind of start spacing things out and all of that good stuff and then what you can also do that I really love with Canva is I probably put some dots in here as well but what you can also do is you can also um, whenever you finish with all of your elements and you kind of have your pattern that, with the look and feel that you the way that you really really want it you can actually hover or basically hold down your mouse and drag over all of the elements that are in your design and then you can start grouping them 
And then so what you can do is as you group them, you can actually, I don't know, Canva is acting crazy. So look at that. <laughs> all right, so let me reload. Hopefully it didn't lose everything, all the work. Okay, okay, perfect. So I'm gonna just hover over this and hopefully it doesn't crash on me again. I'm gonna group and then I'm going to just kind of drag these out to make things a little bit bigger, okay? And then we have our pattern. Now you can definitely come in into some of the other empty spaces that you have in here and add more stuff. So maybe I will go ahead and fill those up a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back to my folders, to my rainbows, and maybe let's add some of the cute little clouds or some of the suns right here, the half suns, because I don't think I really use these. So let's add these in here. So let's add a few of these. And I'll probably add that one there and make it a little small. And then I will add the pink one and make it small. And that's a little pattern. It's kind of a little busy. Eh. So I'm gonna leave this as is. I'm gonna leave it as is because I don't want it to be too busy. So I'll take these out. And then what you can do is I can ungroup and then I can just kind of come in and some of the ones that are kind of small, I can make those a little bit bigger to kind of compensate for some of the space that's kind of missing. But basically you just want to adjust things until you're really happy, you know, with your final pattern. And I think this looks kind of cute. I think this looks really cute. Okay, so I'm gonna group this. All right, and so now I'm done with my pattern. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to share and then I'm gonna download this as a PNG file with a transparent background. So you wanna make sure you select that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click download. Now this is only available in Canva Pro. So I do want to give you guys a heads up on that. So we're gonna download this pattern and then I'm gonna come over and upload this pattern onto my journal cover. So here is the cover. Okay, here it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. So here is the journal cover right here. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over here and then I'm gonna go to uploads and then I'm gonna upload files and then I'm gonna go to downloads and here is the pattern that I created. And so this is kind of on a up off white background and I don't think it's gonna look that good on that color. So I'm gonna change this to more of like a black and then I'm gonna see what that looks like here. Okay. Ah, and there it goes. So here is the pattern and I think that looks really cute. So I'm gonna adjust this and then I'm gonna bring this out. And then you can just kind of bring this over a little bit. And I actually do think that looks really, really cute, okay, for the pattern. And then so what I'll do after doing this is I will take this and I will duplicate this and I will drag this over to the other side. And so what I can do is I can flip this. See what I did? to make that horizontal. So this is the entire pattern that we've created and I think it looks so cute. Now the one thing that I would do and that you still could do um, for this pattern is um, I would say to go in maybe and add some like little dots or something or even some um, you know white hearts to kind of make it jump out a little bit on this black background. But I think this journal looks really, really cute. So here's what I would do. Um, I'm gonna go and look for hearts actually let me go back to that bundle because I think there are some white hearts in there. And this is where you can kind of, again, kind of go off the cuff and just add what you feel is missing. So I'm gonna add some of these white hearts in here, um, just small in some of the different places, right? So I'll do one there, I'll bring this down, I'll do another here and I'll turn it. So you see that kind of fills it in a little bit more. So I'll add the heart in here then I'll add one right here and turn. Actually, I'll turn it that way. And so you can just kind of start filling this in. Oops, filling this in a little bit more um, where you see kind of gaps and things in the spaces of your pattern. But I think this has turned out really cute. All right, so we're gonna add this here. And I think this is filling in quite nicely here. Okay, so you can turn it. And then I'll add one more like right here. Again, I'm going off the cuff here, guys. So then I'll add maybe one more uh, right here, like right here or something. Okay, or a little bit bigger. Yep, okay, I like it, I like it a lot. And so, like I said, um, this is kind of how I go about making my patterns and this is what you can do as well. Now what I would do is put a label on this and so I'm gonna go over here because it's a journal I'm just gonna take this box here. I'm gonna place this over here. 
And what I'm gonna do also is lock each one of these so the patterns don't move. And then I can put this here and then I'm going to just basically write journal on the front here. Okay, so well, somewhere up here at the top. And then I can make this in the white shape. And then I'll probably put a square border around this. Again, I'm kind of going off the cuff, but um, I like it, I like it a lot. So let's go to shapes, oops, and see all. And I'm looking for this square here. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna reduce this. I'm gonna bring this in, I'm gonna bring this up. Basically put this here, all right. And I'm gonna bring this over, okay. And then I'll turn this to um, one of the colors in the journal. So I'll go here, hit this, and select that. And I wanna make this a little bit thinner because I think it's too thick. And then let me bring this in. And then I'm gonna move this over. All right. And then I'm just gonna find a really cute font and put journal on here and that's gonna be it. Okay, so now we're gonna go to text add a text box, I'm gonna put this here, and I'm gonna increase this size, I'm gonna change this to black, or the off black, and then I'm just gonna write journal, daily journal, okay? And then that's it. And that is it, guys. All right, so the last thing that I like to do with um, my journals and things is whenever I'm creating things to make sure that every um, that you know everything is lined up really nicely is I'm just gonna go over to elements, sorry, not elements, but I'm gonna go look for my six by nine um, uh, template that lets me know that everything is lined up correctly. So I've already uploaded this. Um, you can see this from a previous video and you can get this from bookowl.com. But what I use this for is to let me know, um, just to make sure that everything is lined up correctly. So I'm gonna go here to transparency and I'm gonna adjust that and that is perfect. You see that? Whoop whoop. Okay, hold on. Okay, I noticed something on the back. Love is backwards. So I'm gonna have to reflip this. <laughs> and it's gonna be just a tad bit off, but that's okay. Um, what you can do and what I would do in this instance, and I just thought about this. I don't know, I, I didn't look at it until it was too late. But um, what I would do in order to um, to fix this basically, or to just kind of make it look, not necessarily seamless, but just make it still look okay, is you can easily, in this instance, go in and just add a um, spine to this journal. And it should look okay still. And I just realized that I'm like, oh my gosh, love is backwards. But you guys kind of get the idea of what I've done here. So I'm gonna add a spine to the spine of this journal and it's gonna make it look so much better already. So you see that? All right, perfect. All right, so then you can keep this as that color or just, you know, whatever color it is that you wanna add. I think I'm gonna use uh, the pencil tool and drop it into the gold and I actually do like that. So you see, it still looks really good. Now the last thing to do is to come in and just download this as a PDF file for print and then I'm gonna use CMYK for printing, and then I'm gonna download this, and we're gonna see what it looks like, and then um, you could actually upload this into Canva, not Canva, but into KDP for a six by nine journal. So that is the size. And the size for this journal, um, for the dimensions, is going to be 12.52 by 9.25, okay? So just so you know. And so this is what the cover looks like. And like I said, I still think this is super duper cute. And this is just a seamless little pattern that we created through um, using some graphics from Creative Fabrica. And then we actually created the seamless pattern itself in Canva. Now again, you can use this for composition notebooks, you can use this for any kind of print on demand product that you want to. And so um, I hope that you guys did enjoy this little overview of how to create seamless patterns that are truly custom that no one else will have. And um, I'd love for you to like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff to the video. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in another video. And um, stay safe out there. And again, if you're in Dallas, stay cool. Okay guys, take care and bye.